All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we have come to Northamptonshire to this abandoned farmhouse due for demolition, apparently. And uh, yeah, it's got a really sinister vibe to this place. Uh, as you can see, it's very cold. It's freezing. Our feet are freezing, <laughs> wet. Wet. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get started. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the investigation, what looks like in the living room. Uh, we're gonna have the lights on today because we are in the middle of nowhere, so there shouldn't be any risk of anybody turning up. <laughs> but yeah, wanna keep the lights on for you guys just so you can get a you know, kind of feel for what this place looks like. It, like I said in the intro, it does look very sinister. Um, so we're gonna call out like we always do and see if we can get a response. So, uh, who he wants to call out? Do you want to call out? Yeah, I can do. <clears throat> so if there are any spirits here in this old farmhouse, which I think is soon going to be knocked down, we've just come here to try and have a conversation, to try and talk, try and communicate with you. So we would be really grateful if you could do something that would give us an idea of whether or not there are any spirits here. Please. I wonder how old them doors are. Yeah, I don't know. They're definitely original doors. I think this place was probably built in late 1800s. Um, I mean, the double glazing windows makes it look a bit newer, but... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you look at the outside and the outbuildings, it's old. Yeah, it's definitely over 100 years old anyway. So if you can do anything to give us some kind of indication you're here, maybe you can speak to us. Or you could knock on a door, slam one of the doors. Still hear those cars, even yeah, though they're quite yeah. far away from the road. Yeah. Could you make a noise in this house, please? All I can hear is that ticking of the, whatever that is, the, is it the gas meter or electric meter or? Mm, might be, I can't hear it, but. Well, You'll be able to hear it if you go out there. Yeah. I mean, the mains have been shut off, but. Maybe it's that there. Old 70s style lampshade. Yeah. That's pearl, isn't it? Or like, you can tell by like the, the... Yeah, I know what you mean. Got like a pearl effect. Mm. Very pretty. Mm. This must be the dining room. With a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Full of gloom. Mm. Hear that? Yeah, like a tap. Yeah, coming from out of the kitchen area. We just heard a tap. Could you tap again for us? <laughs> Straight away. Yeah, I wonder if it's a drip here, or is it from out in the kitchen again? It sounds like, yeah, it's in the kitchen, but... How about again, just so we know for sure? got to be a drip, no? Yeah, I'd imagine it's got to be a drip. I mean, it has been raining, guys, so. The likeliness of drips is uh, very probable. 
Maybe you can knock for us. Although I've not heard it again since. No. for it, see if we hear it again. Yeah. I mean, I did it, I did ask about 20, 30 seconds apart and I've not heard it since I last asked. No. Yeah. That wasn't the noise. That was the, the window expanding. It wasn't that noise, it was different. If that was you making that tapping sound, could you just do it again for us, please? <laughs> See, that was different to the last noise. The last noise sounded like it came from the window. Yeah. This noise sounded like it came from the ceiling. I don't know, I thought it came from the window. Definitely got to be a drip in, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. What was that? that was a different, that was behind you, weren't it? I thought it was behind you. Oh no, I thought it was behind you. It no. sounded like a knock. I thought it was behind you. See, that, that, that sounds like it's coming from the ceiling. It sounds like right here. I think if you'd stand there, right there, your, obviously, your hearing's better than mine. Doesn't sound like a drip, though. Well, what was that? Do you just hear that noise? No. It's like a. That might have been me breathing. Oh. <laughs> it might have been. I'm not saying well, it was. You don't breathe like that, do you? Yeah, sometimes. Depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> doesn't sound like a drip, though. Well. doesn't sound like a drip, though. Well. It doesn't sound like a drip. It sounds more like a expanding, contracting noise. Mm, maybe it is, but whatever it is, it's not anything replying to us. No, it could be because it's getting colder, because it's getting later. Yeah, yeah. It's not anything replying to us, that's for sure. No. This just must have been like a pantry, yeah. a pantry or... Let's get out the K2. Now, if there is anybody here that wants to communicate with us, I've got a device that I've put on the kitchen top there. Now, if you go close to that, it will light up different colours. It won't hurt you. I'll bloody tap again. That will just indicate that you're here with us. Could you go close to it, please, so it lights up? Just for a couple of seconds. Well, let, let us introduce ourselves anyway. My name's Michael. My name's Adrian. And we are paranormal investigators that have traveled the country looking for signs of the paranormal. We're not here to smash the place up, do any harm to the building. 
We're just solely here to communicate with you, if that's something that you would like to do. So please try and make the effort, if you can, to do anything for us. Make the effort. Yeah. Well, we're making the effort. Yeah, no, true. I can't even feel my toes. Yeah, exactly. Just go next to that device on top of the... What, what the that? fuck was that? That was behind you, wasn't it? Was that the door moving? Mm, I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't see it move. I definitely heard something. It sounded... No, it wouldn't... It, it, it can't move. It's kind of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like kind if, of stays wherever you touching, put it. If it was touching the floor or something and you kind of stepped, then I could understand it moving. Yeah, no, it's kind of like... So it's, I thought it was something brushing along the carpet. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. But if you look, it, it just stays wherever you put it because it's yeah, really yeah. stiff. But so it didn't you, move, the door didn't move. I think if you look at the bottom of it, it's not even touching the carpet. No. It sounded like a <sighs> behind me arc. I thought uh, something was moving along the carpet. I just thought I heard a, like a, not a clicking noise, but it's kind of like... Well, I heard a clicking noise first, but then it went <sighs> like that. Go next to that device on top of the... Go you next to that device on top of the... Go you next to that device on top of the... See, it's not even rubbing on the carpet, is it? No. So it wasn't that. But yeah, I heard a click. That was my stomach. I heard a click and then a... Like that. I didn't hear the... I just heard the... heard like a clicking noise. Well, that's twice now. I, I, it's like I've heard something go. <sighs> Is that you trying to communicate with us? Could you make that noise again? Another tap out in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like a breathing. Like a, yeah, like a breathing type, grinding, scraping. No, I didn't hear it. Either time. Hopefully, I picked it up on the mics. I don't know, what do you reckon? Let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's try upstairs. Maybe come back down. Yeah. Later. Beautiful pink wall. See, it doesn't look that pink on the camera. Oh, I don't know. So as you can see, we've come upstairs now. Obviously trying to see if you're here. Maybe if you're not downstairs, maybe you're up here. That was me. That was me. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Could you please move one of these doors for us? Or knock on one of them for us? Just put the gay dude down in the middle of the floor here. We'd really like it if you came forward to communicate, if you are here. If you could do something significant. Yes. Something prominent. I can't remember the other word. What was the other word? <laughs> distinctive. That's it, distinctive. Can you do something distinctive for us, please? We do come here with the utmost respect. Yep, definitely. I know we mess about. I know we swear. You do. But our intentions are 
What was that? I don't know. It's like a double tap. Double thud. You two. But our intentions are... You two. But our intentions are... You two. But our intentions are... So we've not heard anything significant yet. So we're going to carry on the investigation. But if you want us to leave, you could do something big for us now and we'll be gone straight away. Because we'll, we've got what we came for. So there'd be no need to stay any longer. some decent boots. My feet are freezing. Yeah, my feet are getting pretty cold now. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's even colder in here. Oh, there's no one in there. No. Thank God. Shame. So I'm starting to get really cold right now. Very cold. And I can't feel my toes. My nose feels like it's going to drop off. Can't feel his hammer toes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hammer toes not working. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Is there any chance you could knock on one of these doors, knock on the window, knock on the ceiling, knock on the floor, make some kind of noise for us? That was my foot. Hammer toe. Mm, hammer time. Any kind of noise will do. Maybe you know this one. That was the worst attempt ever. <laughs> it's quiet up here. Yeah. Very cool. Seemed a little bit more active downstairs. Yeah. Let's try the uh, room with the freaky carpet. The freaky carpet. 70s puke oh, style. It's just awesome. Oh, every room seems to get colder. It does. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's a hole in the floor there. Eh? Jesus Christ. Careful. Yeah. Oh, well, we don't know what else to say. If you did want to communicate with you, we've given you enough op opportunity now. Maybe you need to build up some energy. Maybe you can use our energy from us or from our equipment. Come and have a conversation with us if you can. You can do it through knocking, through talking, or you can do it through the little device we've got in the middle of the floor here with the green light. You can make it light up for us for yes and no. What was that? I don't know. That was like, um, like that, that's what I heard. Then. Yeah. See these floors? I mean, we are still.
Sounded like it was downstairs. Yeah, it did, didn't it? For us, for yes and no. For us, for yes and no. For us, for yes and no. I think we should go back downstairs. Yeah. Tell you the truth. Yeah, because I, I heard that kind of breathing, weird breathing noise down there. Oh, probably me trying to breathe out my nose. Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, but it was right behind me in the living room by the door, because that's why I thought it was the door moving. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back downstairs. So we've come back into the dining area where I thought I heard like a breathing or a scraping noise. Now I can hear the ticking of the meter there, but I'm going to need something so we can distinguish it's you. What's that? I don't know, I heard it. it. Sounded like it was that way. Sounded like it was that little door there. You reckon? Yeah. I don't think so. To me it sounded like it's coming from over there. What is in there? Well, it's just a little cupboard under the stairs. Tiny. Could you move that door for us, please? Or we'll push that broom over in the corner. Yeah. What was that? Is that that tapping noise behind you again? Mm, I heard it, but I don't know where it's coming from. Please move the door or the broom. If you can do that for us, we'll be gone. It's just typical when you stand quietly, you hear absolutely nothing. No. We were upstairs a minute ago, and we definitely heard some well, almost knocking noises from down here. Yeah, it was, all, it was banging, not knocking. Yeah. If that was you, please, could you do it again? Ticking's annoying me. Oh, I can barely hear it. Really? Yeah, really. Fucking hell. How can you not hear that? It's so loud. No. You're going Mutt and Jeff, mate. Yeah. That's what happens when you get old. We're probably going to be leaving soon. Yep. So, if that was you that's made some of the noises we've heard, then we appreciate that. Yeah. But I'd appreciate it even more if you could just do, just do something else before we go. Otherwise, I've got a journey home with Angry Mike. <laughs> angry wet Mike. Yeah. Angry wet cold footed Mike. <laughs> So please, to try and avoid that situation, all joking aside, yeah, I'd be really grateful if you could do something that's probably going to scare us yeah. before we leave. We just want to be scared. We really do. And we would like to catch it on camera if that's possible. So all the people watching at home could see it too. All two of them. Hmm. <laughs> All two of them. <laughs> we just want to know if the afterlife is real. I'm sure millions of other people out there would like to know as well. Yeah. That's why they watch these things. 
kind of a tap? Is yeah. that thing behind you? Or? No, it sounds to me like it's coming from over there. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's coming from behind me. It sounds like it's coming from this kind of direction. It's the same kind of noise. Yeah. Definitely. Imagine if the spirit is there just going, look, I'm, I'm tapping. For yeah. what, sake. Can you just... what more do you want a pair of twats? Uh, I'm just yeah. going to stand out here. Where does that sound like that was coming from to you? Did you hear a tap then? No, all I can hear now is, is that thing. fucking thing. Yeah. So I won't be standing out there for much longer. No. It sounded to me like it came from over this way. All right, let's shut this door. Let's ask, see if they, will, they want to open it. Right, we've shut the door now, so we can't hear that stupid ticking anymore. <gasps> Could you open that door for us? We'll just bang on it. Just knock on it three times. Please. Yeah, now that tap didn't sound like it was coming from out there that time. To me, it sounded like it was coming from out there. Oh, did it? Yeah, honestly. I, I just... Oh, it's weird. This house is weird. When I stood over there, it sounded like it was coming from here. Yeah. But now I'm stood over here and I've heard it the same time as you did. It sounded like it was coming from out there. Yeah. We've just got to put it down to drips. Yeah, those. I mean, I'd imagine so. I reckon it is. Okay, well, I'll ask you one last time. This, this device on the floor with the green light, please go right next to that if you can, as close as you can. Try to pick it up and it should light up green, yellow and red. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like I said, I'd put that down to drips. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. To be, to be honest. Uh, I just want to listen back to that, that noise that was behind me when I stood next to that door. Yeah. Um, and the, the noise in the kitchen as well. That noise. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure you would know if that was you that did that, no? I don't know. You just don't know in the <laughs> split second that it takes for you to go. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Or whatever the noise was. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would have done, but I mean... Well... I think if the spirits are going to do anything significant for us, they I would have done it by now. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, so we'd kindly like to thank you again if that was you that was making the noises for us. But we're going to bid you farewell. I hope you have a good one. Goodbye. Yeah. So take care, guys.